Hi, welcome to this video. And this video, what we are going to see is how easily we can begin our journey into the world of artificial intelligence. Actually, if you look back last three, four, five years, there has been an increasing demand in the artificial intelligence arena, the need for professionals wanting to build applications around machine learning and in classifications, etc. There has been a huge increase. But last one year, that has completely changed. We all know last November, uh, an application called ChatGPT was released by OpenAI. And that made an AI-based application easily accessible for everyone. I hope most of you would have tasted the power of the chat GPT. Yes, it has been life changing as per Andrew NG, a uh, pioneer in this field. This area or this development or this invention is as critical as electricity for the mankind. So it is important that you begin your artificial intelligence journey. If you are a developer, this is the easiest period where you can start your journey. One year back or two years back, you know, the topics that you needed to learn were too many. Now you can actually focus on few important areas of the artificial intelligence. So I will list out the key items and I will also specify the duration that you need to spend. So don't spend more than the time that I mentioned. After that, once you are on board and once you begin your journey, you can go deeper and deeper into these topics and I, I, I assume that you all know a little bit of programming that is all that you need to know you don't need to know complicated mathematics or anything like that okay so most important thing is to learn python which is a programming language and when i say learn python don't think that you need to spend weeks and months to learn python just learn python for one hour I'm not even recommending any videos or links. You find, you search YouTube and find out just 30 minutes or one hour of Python, introduction to Python. And immediately after that, and while you're learning Python, you also start learning Jupyter Notes. And the best and the easiest way to begin Jupyter Notes is use uh, Google's Colab which is a free thing if you all have a Gmail account. So you just search Google Collab and using your Gmail login, you can open your Collab note. Okay, now what that offers is, it's an unbelievably friendly Python environment where you can start with simple print statements to importing libraries to executing and seeing the output of Python. So learn Python and Jupyter Notebook using Google Collab. Don't think that Jupyter Notebook is some additional tool or additional library that you consider it as a notepad to test out your Python application. So Jupyter Notebook and Python, you spend only one hour. And where will you access Jupyter Notebook? Using Google Collab. Done. Basics of Python. Very simple, essential statements of Python we have covered. See how we can import a library into a Python and use it. And the most useful library is called the Pandas. Pandas library will allow us to uh, work with structured tabular data. Like you have names of students on one side and, you know, subjects and marks in each of those cells. Such a data is called tabular uh, data, Google Sheets or Excel. Your similar application in Python is called Pandas. It's a library which you can import and play with it. Don't spend more than 15 minutes. So I'm just telling you the essential techniques to start your artificial intelligence journey. So spend one hour for Python and Jupyter Notebook using Google Colab. And in the same environment, learn Pandas. Next is Learn ChatGPT. Sign up for a free account in OpenAI and access ChatGPT and play with it. See how it can help you to answer your questions. Spend 30 minutes on ChatGPT and essential prompting. So that will give you the confidence of the things that you can ask. Spend 30 minutes to understand how to ask questions, which is called prompting. So prompt engineering, you will spend 30 minutes. 
and while you are learning these things make sure that you build your own handy notes so that you can revise learn an application where you are going to build your first fully functional application using a platform called gradio g a few lines of code you can build a fully functional application and how much time you need to spend with gradio not more than 20 or 30 minutes in 20 to 30 minutes you can build an application like chat gpt for this you will need to use an api key from open ai etc but all these are available people don't know where to begin and what to learn on how much time to spend spend 30 minutes and by the end of this 30 minutes you will have a fully functional web based application and, and where will you host this so that others can access this you will use a service uh, from the company called hugging face i will provide these links using hugging face and gradio you will build a fully functional application and host it that will give you tremendous confidence in beginning your machine learning journey so this will give you tremendous confidence in understanding what it takes to build an end user application providing artificial intelligence based services now at this stage i should also mention a tool or a very important tool called git spend 15 minutes on understanding the essentials of version control and this application called github sign up for an account with github and understand how to use github now what do we do after this learn another incredible application called streamlit this will help you to build web application which is much more customizable than gradio you can put your button text box and text and all those things wherever you want on the user interface so user interface becomes much more customizable than gradio if you look back how we have started we started learning jupyter notebook and python to write python code then we learned gradio to provide an user interface now we are learning a much more sophisticated uh, user interface builder called streamlit So this completes the journey and you are at this stage capable of building applications which are useful for others start building small small applications and put it in github account so that others can see when you go for interviews etc you can showcase the application that you have created and you can also allow them to access your application isn't it fantastic just spending few hours you gain mastery over the artificial intelligence arena now comes the time taking journey where you learn the basics of machine learning deep learning and the associated libraries like tensorflow sklearn pytorch okay and my recommendation is there is a pioneer called who is andrew ng you follow his teaching it's available free in youtube and also he has a a company called deeplearning.ai this is not a sponsored video you will get short courses from andrew ng on uh, open ai chat gpt and machine learning and all these areas so you pursue your journey into the world of machine learning and uh, generative ai and large language models and transformer architecture all these technologies you can slowly take it up my way of learning this tool is to begin experimenting uh, see how things work and understand and learn this way you will have a solid understanding of these technologies when you go deeper and deeper into it so now how long will you study there is no end to it so continue studying and develop a habit of spending 30 minutes every day going deeper into these technologies remember to write articles share code snippets in github okay